So one day I come home and I find a coat hanger on the ground in front of the door where the coat hanger used to be hanging on the wall. Small drywall crumbs everywhere on the floor, the coats everywhere on the floor. This being ripped out from the wall, looking like this, with holes in the wall from where this coat hanger was ripped out of. In this video, I'll show you what went wrong and how this can be fixed. So, what went wrong? The coat hanger needs to mount into the wall and needs to lie flat against the wall. This coat hanger lost a screw here, which somebody replaced with a screw that's slightly longer than the thickness of the product. This slightly longer screw here forced the product, pried the product away from the wall, like so, and over time this prying action completely ripped the whole product out from the wall when heavy winter coats or wet coats or whatever was hung on the coat hanger. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is that these pieces of hardware mount this product into the drywall. The drywall, this looks like long and large and sturdy. However, the drywall's thickness is only this much. So never mind the rest of the length, only this much is engaging with the material of the drywall. They are not held really solidly in terms of structural strength. There's gonna be a little clean up there. So let me just explain this. Why are they not held really well? You can see what happens. The drywall is gypsum like plaster of Paris material, gypsum board that's pressed together. And this happens to be half inch thick, 12.4 millimeter, 12.6 millimeters, sorry. So it just ripped right out, given the fact that the screw replacement started prying the product away from the wall. Good point. Let's show you here what this product is. That's the name of the product. There's nothing really wrong or defective about the product other than its mounting needs to be reconsidered. So mounting it through drywall is not really the best idea. So what are these green things here? The drywall that you see here is mounted on studs. The studs are either wood or steel. In this case, the building has steel studs and they are vertical pieces of structural members inside the wall to which the drywall screws i found the screw heads using a small magnet from there just from the fridge or whatever and the magnet sticks at these places i kind of need to know where to look on a featureless and empty wall how to find those screw heads but i'll explain in a sec so that's one stud there another stud is running there i hope that makes sense and another stud is running right there so we have three studs here and this coat hanger needs to be mounted in the stud somewhere and not only in the drywall because that's not working now these studs are laid out typically 16 inches on center so center of the stud to center the stud is typically 16 inches, about 400 millimeters, just roughly 40 centimeters, just for a rough idea. So from the corner, I looked in the first place, 16 inches away. Studs can be laid at 24 inches away as well. So it's either 16 or 24 typically. So I looked in this general direction here for these screw heads, very straightforward. This IKEA product forces the user to, to mount by these screws here, which is gonna be abandoned. I made a new layout here. 
that's with screw with holes that I drilled in that are exactly 16 inches apart like so and I found two screws that are long enough to go through the thickness of the coat hanger plus the just one plus the thickness of the drywall and there is still enough to go through the steel stud the steel stud is 16 gauge fairly thin metal in order to hold everything together in thin metal I try to find the screws in a random screw box there with the finest thread that means that the threads are as close as possible so this would be a coarse thread these are finer threads this would be ideal but it doesn't have a point to it this is even finer so I'm gonna go with these screws and I drilled these holes enough so the screw doesn't catch a whole lot on it because the drywall needs to hold and more importantly the steel stud needs to hold so it's once it's drilled out 16 inches on center and once there are screws in the uh, once the screws go into the stud it's possible to replace these screws with beefier ones or put washers underneath the head or go with screws that are actually made to go through steel so that's a small detail there but that's how it's gonna get mounted and of course to begin with I'm gonna find a short enough screw okay obviously not this one something that is not prying the product away from the wall I'll find one that works eventually I don't know something like this would be would be much better already than the existing one there with a huge head I know it's it's not black but at least but at least it's about the same head size so that's how this is gonna be fixed and uh, it's fairly straightforward just needs a little bit of drilling obviously and for mounting it's gonna be it's gonna be hung with one screw on one side and no screw on the other side so one, one screw is in, put a level on it, wherever it's going to be level, that's where the second screw is going to go in. And I'm thinking in terms of space, of course the drywall needs to be fixed, whether I want to fix it now or later, no, never is not an option, so I might put the coat hanger underneath so kids can reach it, or above, so the coats cover this, but if I put it underneath, I can still fix it later. Something like that. I'm, I'm still thinking whether I should fix it first or fix it after. But anyhow, that's how this is going to be fixed. It's uh, not rocket science, but it needs a little bit of thinking. And uh, yeah, it needs uh, a redesign to the IKEA product. 